This video describes a new feature added to the Monte Carlo simulation section of Stack Graphics 18. It's a sensitivity tornado plot. A Monte Carlo simulation is used to estimate the distribution of variables when it's either impossible or impractical to determine that distribution theoretically. Monte Carlo simulation is used in many areas, including engineering, finance, and design for Six Sigma. It involves one or more input variables x, some of which usually follow a probability distribution, one or more output variables y, whose distribution is desired, and finally a mathematical model coupling the x's and the y's. The example I'm going to talk about in this video has to do with sequential tasks. Suppose we have a project that requires the completion of 12 tasks in sequence, one after the other. Let's let x sub j be the time required to complete task j. We're interested in knowing the distribution of the total amount of time required to complete the project. We'll begin by specifying a probability distribution for the length of time required to complete each of the 12 tasks. It's common in Monte Carlo simulation to use a triangular distribution. A triangular distribution is defined by a minimum value, a most likely value in the center, and a maximum value. For example, the table here indicates that task 1 will take somewhere between 7 and 13 days with the most likely amount of time being 10 days. Incidentally this example comes from a book called Design for Six Sigma in Technology and Product Development. You see the reference at the bottom of the screen. To perform a Monte Carlo simulation in Stack Graphics 18 the first thing you need to do is set up your data sheet. There should be a column in the data sheet for each of the x variables and a column for the y variable. They're all numeric columns as you can see. After the data sheet is set up, we go to the main Stack Graphics 18 menu and select Tools, Monte Carlo Simulation, general simulation models. This will present us with a dialog box that we use to define the x and y variables. You'll notice in the variable column I've defined my 12 x variables and my y variable. Each of the x variables is set to be a triangular random variable. Total time the y variable is a function. For each of the 12 tasks, I'll specify on another dialog box the lower limit, the center value, and the upper limit of the triangular distribution. In the case of the y variable, I'll enter a stack graphics expression defining its relationship to the x's. You note here that our total time is simply the sum of the time required to complete each of those 12 tasks. On the Analysis Options dialog box, I'll set the number of samples I wish to create. In this case, I'm going to ask for 10,000 samples. I can also set the seed, if I like, to an integer in order to get the same results more than once. Otherwise, if you pick new seed on each run, every time you run the simulation, you'll get different results. When I press the OK button on the Analysis Options dialog box, the simulation will start. When it's done, I'll see a lot of information, both numerical and graphical. You see, for example, here the analysis summary, summary statistics for each of my x and y variables, 
and percentiles for each of my x and y variables. You also see on the right hand side a histogram, a box and whisker plot, a quantile plot, and a sensitivity tornado plot. New to Stat Graphics 18 is the sensitivity tornado plot. This plot is designed to show me which of my input variables have the biggest impact on the output. You'll notice that my output variable total time is along the horizontal axis. Along the vertical axis you'll see the 12 tasks. They're shown in decreasing order of importance where importance is how much they affect the output. To construct the sensitivity tornado plot we begin by setting all of the input variables at their median values. We then calculate the output. This output defines the baseline of the plot. We then take each of the input variables and set it equal to a lower percentile and then to an upper percentile. Frequently this will be the 5th percentile and the 95th percentile. We'll then draw bars to show how much the output changed when a particular input variable was set first at its lower percentile and then at its upper percentile. When the tornado plot is drawn, the variable at the top will be the one that had the biggest effect on the output and the one at the bottom will be the one with the least effect. In this tornado plot you can see that the most influential tasks that affect total time are task 11, task 8, and task 1. If you look at task 11, when it's at its fifth percentile the project takes only 153 days. When it's at its 95th percentile, the project takes 161 days. Well, this is a fairly simple example, and you might have been able to determine what input variables were the most important without the tornado plot. The tornado plot is very useful for more complicated models.